Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. All right, y'all see what we got going on here today. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. Yeah, man, today's video is dealing with you guys. Matter of fact, it's the Paper Route Ops. And you already know who I'm talking about, man. It's your boy, Yo Gotti, and his guard dog, Black Youngster. Well, check this out. It looked like the Alphabet Boys then finally raided Black Youngster Studio. And dealing with that, a couple of heavy camp affiliates, they got cuffed, and now they behind the wall. A lot of folks want to know why the Alphabet Boys is going at Black Youngster's heavy camp. And the reason why, because again, we already know that Jamarcus Johnson, who is straight drop brother, he didn't let them folks know who's actually behind orchestrate and paying for Young Dolph to get taken out at the cookie shop. And with that, I don't know if y'all remember, but that's when Black Youngster made a tweet saying, that's how y'all can get taken out, going to get some desserts. And right there, a lot of folks felt that was disrespectful. And we can all tell how much love that Young Dolph had because the result is everybody who is dissing Young Dolph, their careers is at a standstill. And again, that's going back to Big J90. His rap career will be more prosperous if he didn't go at Paper Route Frank. And again, we can't forget about Lil Migo. Once he put it out there that he had lawyer fees and bond money for his cousin, Cornelius Smith, that's when everybody who had love for Young Dolph started to see Lil Migo as an op. And plus, you can't forget about Big Juke Homeboy, whom is Govin. See, a lot of folks believe that's the reason why Govin got released on bond. Because where it is, he brought up a couple names of the guys that's affiliated with Black Youngster's heavy camp as far as them assisting and taking out Young Dolph. But again, man, a lot of folks who got love for Young Dolph, they already knew this day was going to come. And the reason why, because Black Youngster, he put this on himself. He the one that was out there mocking Young Dolph after Young Dolph got sent up. He the one that was putting out there that he had an issue with Young Dolph. Again, when Yo Gotti dropped that beef that he had with Young Dolph, that's when Yo Gotti guard dog Black Youngster, he picked it up for him. And he made sure that he did everything to try to discredit Young Dolph paper route. As far as pulling up to Castay, signing artists out of Memphis, based on them dissing Young Dolph. Again, man, everybody is privy to this information. Because Black Youngster, he made sure that he let everybody know that he had an issue with Young Dolph and all the paper route artists. And like I told y'all before, man, everybody already know that Big Juke and his guard dog, Black Youngster, they was allegedly paying off the different Chula affiliates to rob the paper route artists for their chains, man. And we can't forget, we'll also let these people look more into Black Youngster and his heavy cap affiliates is when Young Dolph had the hundred shells sent at him in North Carolina. See, everybody already know that Black Youngster and a couple of his guys, they got arrested behind that. But we also do know that they didn't get brought down because we already know that Yo Gotti, he paid that bag to make sure that these guys didn't do no time based around them sending them honey shells at Paper Route Frank. I'm just here to tell y'all, man, what y'all already know is that they've been going at Young Dolph for years, man. Again, they've been doing everything in their power to try to discredit Young Dolph's name. But like I said, man, it didn't work because Young Dolph, he had too much love and support across the globe. Not just in Memphis, but the actions of Young Dolph being raised in Memphis is what made people respect him. Because again, he wanted to see everybody win. And that's the reason why he was trying to bring Chula and Double R at the same table. So they could get over their disagreement and try to make some money together. But like I said, man, we see that plan didn't work as well. Because again, Black Youngster and Big Juke, they seen how some guys that's affiliated with Chula didn't really like Young Dolph working with Double R. So they used that against those youngsters and paid them to go at Young Dolph. And this is where y'all see Straight Drop come in the picture because he was paid to infiltrate Paper Route. And Straight Drop, he was able to get an easy shoe in because of Key Glock. Because of the history that Straight Drop had with Key Glock, where Key Glock thought that Straight Drop was actually trying to be a Paper Route artist and do music. But Key Glock, he didn't know that Straight Drop was there to watch Young Dolph moves for Yo Gotti and his brother Big Juke. Because everybody that's affiliated with Chula, they go back with Key Glock. 
and they seen how Key Glock was leveling up. So again, when they seen that, you had some guys come over to Key Glock like, hey man, can Young Dolph put us on? And that's what Key Glock was trying to vouch for these guys. And it was too late for Key Glock to see that he couldn't trust now one of them because they was already paid to take out Paper Route Frank. Again, man, it's just messed up that they use these young guys to carry out their criminal activity as far as them assisting and taking out Paper Route Frank. Matter of fact, let's pay our respects and say rest in peace to young Dolph, condolences to his family, and much love to all my folks in Dolph land. To all my folks in Dolph land, we know y'all missed the real one out there, you understand? Because young Dolph, he really wanted to see the folks in his community win. So with that, why don't y'all go ahead and drop those Dolphs in the comments and show your love for Paper Route Frank. So yeah, back to your boy Black Youngster. He don't even know what to do out here. He not really moving units like that, which is the reason Yo Gotti had to drop him from the label and replace him with Glorilla and Big Boogie. Because even Yo Gotti could recognize that everybody who had their hands in taking out Pepper Ralph Frank, they all going down. They either getting caught up or they getting sent up. And that's just the way of the game. Especially knowing how much love the folks out there in Memphis had for Young Dolph. You can't do this to somebody like Young Dolph and not expect some type of get back. Because you got some guys who gonna go out their way to make sure that you don't ever forget that day that y'all paid to take out Pepper Route Frank. And like I was saying, man, your boy Black Youngster, the only recognition that he really had was going at Young Dolph. And like I said before, since Yo Gotti could see that Black Youngster is not moving no units, we can also see that's the reason why Lil Migo and Big J90 is not part of Black Youngster's heavy camp no more. Because instead of Black Youngster trying to promote his artists, he was constantly going at Young Dolph. Again, man, there's plenty of footage out there of Black Youngster going at Young Dolph. But no footage out there of Young Dolph going at Black Youngster. And that's what everybody could see. Because Young Dolph even said to himself, he never had an issue with Black Youngster. He don't even know where Black Youngster came from with those diss songs about it. But now everybody can see the reason why Black Youngster was constantly going at Young Dolph to show his loyalty for Yo Gotti and his brother Big Juke. But it still doesn't take away from the fact that Black Youngster put this on himself as far as the reason why Yo Gotti stopped messing with him and Money Bag Yo is not messing with him as well. And that's the reason why everybody that's affiliated with CMG had to distance themselves from Black Youngster because they not trying to go down when he get caught up. But like I told you guys before, y'all already know, with Govan being released on Bond and straight drop brother Jamarcus, him informing them people about everybody on Yo Gotti's chessboard pretending to setting up Young Dolph at the cookie shop. And I broke that down to you guys before that Yo Gotti had the proper people paid in position to make sure that the play on Pepper Route Frank when it's planned. Now y'all started to understand. And with that, he also used the beef between Chula and Double R to carry out the play on Pepper Route Frank. But again, it's just messed up that they took out somebody who was actually a benefit to their community. And that's why Young Dolph will always be remembered as the King of Memphis. So with that, always be aware and always stay prepared. But hey, we got more in store. As always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.